welcome back to the Slow Music Movement radio show. And it's a particularly laid back, warm, summery edition this week. Because it's that time of year. Kicking off today's show is Jorgen Kelgren. Now you might remember him from his Hollywood EP on the Slow Music Movement label. He's been an ambient producer for quite a while now and uh, he's only gone and recorded a, well, Cosmic Americana ambient folk album, delved into the world of singer-songwriting to pretty amazing effect. I hope you'll agree. The first single is coming out this Thursday. So, onwards and upwards into the show. As I say, laid back vibes, warm weather vibes, deck chair vibes. 
beach vibes. Probably sound good traveling through an airport as well if you need something to calm you down with all the stress of baggage and people and aeroplane engine noise, that type of thing. And we roll on into the show with Will Bolton, another artist who I have a sneaking suspicion you'll be hearing more of in the slow music music, slow music movement world. Will Bolton has a new album coming out called Sweat. It's on Audio Bolt Records. It's out on July the 1st. And this track is called Points of Light.
Carolina Muito mimada pelos pais Estavam dado tudo, tudo De mão beijada Enquanto o povo se acabava Ela, ela, era, era Da pá virada Torrava grana nas paradas Pó, pó, joia, joia E as baladinhas Enquanto o povo não comia Maria Antonieta Para alguns era uma doida correta Mas comeu água todo dia Perdeu a cabeça
I guess so Will Bolton his new LP Swept is out on July the 1st that was a great track from him after that was a lovely slice of electronica from a gentleman named Cheju who was news to me um, until last week week before Um, he runs a nice record label called Boltfish Recordings out of the UK and uh, yeah that was a great track from him which was called in. After that was a track, lovely jazzy, stringy, down tempo number called Wicked City from Asma Maruf, Patrick Belaga, and Tapiwa Sepusve, I believe. Um, yeah, they've released a five track LP on Pan Records recently called The Sport of Love. Sounded very nice. To that, DJism, Lucas Santana. Um, DJism, been a fan of him for a while. I do actually know him, and uh, yeah, lived down in Lisbon with him. Um, but yeah, uh, personal connections aside, always an amazing producer. Contemporary beats, always fine choice of vocalists, and um, yeah, that was his new track called Maria Antoinetta. After that great slice of lyric music from the Menace Collective out of Paris and Tokyo that was called Meme Queer Meme and Dua from Paloma Paloma and after that Sam Biasuki Biasushi uh, from LA great tune from him as well so 
leads us to where we are now. Don't worry, there's still four minutes to go. I'm sure you're getting the idea. It's a lovely slice of summery, Brazilian, balearic, bossa, beatsy type of <laughs> music. Uh, from Music for Dreams, the ever reliable balearic label out of Denmark. He also um, hosts the radio show. If you ever really want a fine collection of laid back, balearic, chilled radio shows, do look for Music for Dreams radio station online. They will sort you right out. This is uh, Bella Nui and a tune called El Picador Telepathica. say if you like that sort of vibe then check out the music for dreams record label and the radio station it's full of music like that next up asher wells uh they're uh, an artist from oakland california and they've just dropped their debut lp it's quite a remarkable um lp rather um a really fine listen it's called water words uh, this is a bit more cosmic leaning, the rest of it's a bit more straight indie folk, um, but yeah, it's all good. Screaming to my 
stuff there from a gentleman called Ulan Passerin. And in fact, it's uh, Stephen R. Smith, a man of many pseudonyms, many music projects. And um, yeah, the Ulan Passerin is the one I'm relating to best, I guess. It's um, a really sort of cosmic folk project um, that you can find on find rather on his Worstwood Recordings Bandcamp and also online. Um, I recommended the album, this track, Bored Birds of the Corporeal 
page came from um, on the blog a couple of weeks ago. Uh, the album's called Dawn, and well, you know what to do. I think I might have mentioned it before. Do do check the social media, check the blog. I do recommend a ridiculous amount of good music every month, as well as the radio show. Not to mention all the Spotify playlists, which get updated with two or three hundred tracks a month. There's a lot going on musically at the slow music movement, not just the radio show. Next up, um, Imca. No idea who they are. Uh, they've just released this track. Though. It's called The Wild Dandelion. A lovely slice of twinkling new age music. It's the first track from a forthcoming LP out on August the 3rd. The LP is called Manyara 2. And if it's anything like this, I shall put it in my diary. Lovely stuff there, beautifully crafted. Well, I call it the new age of new age, which is those sort of hippie vibrations, uh, but given a, a modern production twist, I actually have a whole playlist dedicated to that, um, called the new age of new age. So if you like that vibe, then uh, head on over to that playlist. It's actually my, uh, my travel go-to playlist as I said earlier from going through the airport on a on a plane 
I popped the New Age of New Age playlist on some noise cancelling headphones and I'm not joking, it was a revelation when I first did it, the, the whole travelling experience getting from A to B became a whole lot more pleasant. Right, next up, Voyage Future, he just released an album that I recommended on the blog not so long ago, the album's called Wellen. this is called Crystal Riviera.
So coming up to the end of the show, playing out with a uh, new discovery, uh, the Microgram, UK producer, uh, came across the Empathy Paradox, his new LP recently, it's a nice post-ambient, post-dubstep type of late night, noirish, noirish, um, rather, um, listen, uh, I like it. So, yeah, a couple of tracks before that, though. Prior to that was Sonmi451. He's got Nui LP um, coming out on laps very shortly called The 18 Minute Gap. And that was a tune called A Taste for Vicarious Pleasure. And before that was um, a track from Lesu. Leku? Lesu, I guess. Uh, he's got a new um, LP coming called Birthdays at Midnight. Hope you enjoyed the show. Check the radio show. Check the radio show. You're checking it. Check the blog. Check the playlist. See you next month. Bye-bye.